nine erotic thoughts on a woman that can instantly stimulate an O. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the nine sensitive sports on a woman that you can touch that can instantly stimulate an O. These are literally the sports that most men ignore. Most times, you guys, you keep focusing on the cleats, the kitty. You think that these are the only sports in a woman that you can touch to make her. Now, there are other, will I say, secret sports that maybe not many people know about it. Some of these sports are the things that you can do to me and I'll go wild. So I am going to share with you guys the sports that you are going to touch your lady to make her go wild. So the first place you can touch a woman that can drive her wild is her brain. And I know you'll be wondering, how do I touch her brain? Psychic, that's psychology. You touch her brain with your talk and sometimes with what you do. There are some dirty talks that you can tell a woman even over the text or when you guys are together that will instantly drive her wild. If you're someone that really knows how to do dirty talking, wow, I'm telling you there are some women that you do that dirty talking to and they will wet the shit instantly. I'm not exaggerating. You keep building that into their memory and then keep getting them ready for what is to come. You might not even touch them, but just with your dirty talk. You're talking about kinky, talking about what you do to them, or whatever language that she understands best. You know best. But just make sure you go mental. You know, ladies, we are easily deceived by words. But you see, men, they are so visual. They are more visual than women. Women, once you start telling them, just tell an African woman how you're going to spoil her and give her so much money. African women, they love money a lot. Once you start telling them this, they will start being so loyal. They've not seen the money. They will start having hope and even start spending the money in their brain. They already believe that he's going to give me money. He promised me, so I'm going to be so loyal. But mostly men, visual. What you say with your mouth is not what they want to believe. As far as they are seeing it, that is what they. That is why when girls dress sexy, they don't need to initiate their partner. Once you dress sexy, come in front of him, his brain goes nuts immediately. He will start thinking of what he's going to do to you. But for ladies, you can actually chat them, sex chat them, and then they are wetting the sheet. They are waiting for you to come home, or they will even start touching themselves. So you see the brain? Very important. How you touch it is with dirty talk. The next place you can touch that will make her go wild is her scalp. The scalp has a lot of nerve endings. So most times when the ladies, their scalps are massaged, they feel so relaxed. Maybe you should try this with your partner. She has been to work all day and it has been a stressful day. Maybe when she comes back, takes a shower, eats some food, and she's lying on the couch and you're sitting on the couch. She's lying there and then she's using your laps to hold her head. Now you can start massaging her scalp. Try to massage her scalp, definitely. You're going to calm her down. I'm putting her in the mood and I know that most men do not know this They don't know that there are so much nerve endings in the scalp that it can actually arouse a woman So you don't have to always be focusing on Focusing on cleats. Some people they don't even do foreplay. Their foreplay is they grab your immediately and they start They start sucking it as if they're sucking periwinkle. How about now? Oh, there are some spots that you touch that will make that girl go wild that wouldn't even insinuate anything she might be the one now wanting you you're just massaging her scalp but she might start thinking of another thing so you don't have to all go straight to her boobs and grab them and some people if you touch them there it doesn't even affect them you touch me here it's as if you're touching my hands it doesn't affect me but there are some places in our body that you can touch 
that will make that person wet the sheet that is not even the clit the g-spot the kitty or the boobs so while massaging her scalp you can massage the scalp and then go down to massaging her neck as well and even her forehead with your the tip of your fingers or your nails that are not sharp the third spot that you can touch a woman that can actually make her go wild is her ears i'm not saying that you're going to lick her ears or kiss her ears with all the spit in the world you don't want to pack a drum of saliva into my ear so how do you touch her ears to get her to wet the sheet number one is still by talking there is a way that you and your woman is doing foreplay then you leave touching or you can just start massaging her shoulders and then you put your mouth into her ears and start whispering romantic talk dirty talks into her ear that is very slow and silent you're sending some messages from her ear to her brain and another way you can touch her ear is by kissing it gently with not too much saliva you can even be licking it with your tip of your tongue lick around it you can bite it in a sensual manner please do not bite off her ear just a little bite a romantic bite you can even use your finger and walk around her ears there's a way you touch it and then she is all aroused the fourth spot you can touch a woman that will make her wet the sheet is the neck now definitely so many people know this one like she can put me to sleep when you kiss me on my neck damn so romantic <laughs> you can just go straight ahead her neck literally will be this side just imagine me putting my head in this position that is how your woman maybe will keep her head and then you're depositing some kiss not rough kiss gentle kiss around here most women once you do this you're sending them to early sleep you're rousing their inner human they might start imagining what they will do to you you see this place wow Kissing, nibbling, licking, caressing, but literally, once you kiss that place, it goes a long way into putting that arousal in her. So these are the things that you can actually do when you're doing foreplay. You don't all have to go straight to the boobs. So all these places are the places that you can explore when you want to get her kitty. But you don't want to make it intentional. It will look as if you're making her to feel relaxed. But all of a sudden she will grab you the fifth place is the mouth does it sound odd no it doesn't or you feel like how do i touch the mouth of course you kiss the mouth you bite the mouth you lick the mouth you do so many things kissing is another powerful thing women love kissing once you starting off foreplay and then the first thing you just go ahead and kiss not even deep once you kiss me once or twice you feel like oh my body is all aroused and hot now guys your body can actually get aroused and hot just with the sight of your woman dressed in a sexy lingerie but for women you might wear a sexy pants that exposes the shape of your joystick it still do not put her in the mood it might not make her to get wet so women you have to walk their body with patience caress them kiss them stroke them do nibble do anything that you have to do but take your time it takes time for our body to actually get ready for their business of knocking so you have to take your time you don't have to rush into anything once you grab her and start kissing her gently you're going to make her to wear the sheet if you kiss her the right way that is how you touch her mouth the next place is her lower back lower back massage can do a lot lay her down on the bed you can go with just your bare hands or you can go with some cream lotion or massage oil and start massaging her lower back and not just massage you can massage it and then you can use your hands the tip of your hands or finger to walk up and down just flick Skin motion with your hands can do the trick and then you can even use your tongue you can use your tongue to lick her lower back you can kiss her lower back so these are the things you can do to her lower back that can actually get her 
aroused and all ready for you. The next one is her feet. There are literally more than 7,000 nerve endings on her feet. And somebody would ask now, how do I lick her feet that she keeps on the floor? For you to do this, she already would have taken her shower and looks neat because you don't want to take any dirty feet into your mouth. So you can actually put the feet into your mouth, maybe like this. As if you're puffing in some air or you lick it, then your spit touches the foot and you can put it back in and blow some air on the wet part. That cooling sensation would get her aroused. Just with this, you get her all aroused and wet. The next place is abdomen. Her abdominal muscles is connected to her kitty. Once you use your mouth and your hands to work on her abdomen, it is actually sending some messages to her kitty and telling her kitty to get ready if she wants to get down to business. Her abdomen does the trick as well. The next place, the last but not the least, is her inner thighs. Her inner thighs is one of the zones that guys need to explore. And this is a place that actually leads to the kitty as well. So you can start also by kissing the thighs, the crevices of her arms and the back of her knees. You can just kiss it, you can walk your hands through it, you can use your tongue to write letters on her thighs. It will send her to go not. It will send her to get ready for you. It will make her to wet the shit. So, guys, these are the places that you can actually touch a woman that will make her go wild and get all ready for you. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be the kitty, the cheese pot, and all whatnot. These places, if you walk on them, they are going to get ready for you, even without you going deep into the real zone so i hope you get my messages try this on your partner and give me your feedback leave a comment down below in the comment section turn on the notification once you've subscribed so you don't miss out when i post new videos like my video share the video and i'm going to see you in my next video